You know what my favorite color is? Rouge. I don't even know what color that is, but I think it's like a purple. And today, we're making the Rouge Passion. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to create the Rouge Passion. This recipe was submitted by Brandon. It's got one ounce Alizé Red Passion. Just making sure that's what I got. Boom! Red Passion, because it's red. And I don't think and they it's make... it's passionate. Yeah, I don't think they make a red... Unpassion. Creme de cassis. This is like that stuff that you, some of that nuances you get out of a red wine in many cases because it's kind of got grape or something. Ooh, there's stuff on the back for a recipe. Anyway, good stuff. Sour mix. If you watched yesterday's recipe, I made sour mix. And today, I'm gonna use it. Wow. You know what I didn't do is I never tasted it. Thrilling. Get you right here. My own personal sour mix. Do it! Oh, we're gonna um, we're gonna shake and strain. We're gonna put it in a little ball because it's one ounce of each ingredient. So that's three ounces. This is conveniently about three ounces, give or take, with ice. Oh, ice. Hello. Oh, Optimus. We got everything. We're on the set. We're ready to go. Let's start with mm, creme de cassis. Love this stuff. It's just you don't use it enough in recipes. However, it does add such a, a component that it... I don't really consider creme de cassis something I'd put in every recipe because it just... It's not like elderflower liqueur or something that's kind of got that sweet floral thing. It's more uh, whiny, more... I don't know. You really wouldn't put any alcohol in every recipe. <laughs> I could. Uh, no, dude, you get tired of it. There's never a bad time for atomic hots. Yes, it wouldn't make good a drink, but every drink. Peach schnapps. Getting closer, <laughs> but I still think there may be drinks that that wouldn't be good in. Peach schnapps and a whiskey. I don't know if that would go. Oh yeah, peach whiskey, peach salsa. Oh, there's some things peach shouldn't go in, which is salsa. We have peach salsa. I know. And you Surprise. eat it, and it's like. You, you, it's you're... not bad, but my brain says no. Yeah, I know. You get caught unaware thinking you're getting one thing and then all of a sudden you're like, why am I tasting peaches? That's kind of strange. All right. Let's do it. And I believe this recipe was submitted by somebody who I think they're of legal drinking age in their country. Uh... And this is one of their first creations they said they were proud of. <laughs> they had other ones they weren't proud of. What happens. I've created recipes that I'm not proud of. Well, I haven't created them. Tampered with recipes that I decided weren't good, so I didn't finish making them into a recipe, per se. More of an experiment. No, it would be good on here. A couple of blueberries or... That's a cool color. Or a blackberry, a conquered grape on the edge. Or like the whole stem, like you know, you stick, you know, the vine, hang it right off. That'd be a little obnoxious. That's how I roll. I know. <sighs> Not getting much out of here. Let me try it first. Hmm. That's tasty, but it's weird tasty. It's tasty like um. Almost, hmm. At first, my first reaction was one of those purple ice ice candy things, but that changed really fast. Get the passion you fruit. Mean like a freeze pop? Freezy ice, yeah. Flavor ice, whatever they call them. But that, that didn't last long. Then you get, it's almost like um, a, a creamy whipped port wine. At first, I thought you said pork. That doesn't sound Holy good at pork. all. I love whipped pork. Uh, <laughs> pulled pork, yes. Whipped pork, not so much. Um, no. It's very juicy. The, you know what? This is kind of... This could be a puree. Like, this has that flavor component to it. I'm trying to pick up. There's passion fruit, but it almost... 
is built into its own drink. I would say if I had to guess what was in here, I might even have come up with a rat with a Ch Chateau Monet or a uh, Chambord. It's just got like a dark berry, sweet dark berry component with passion fruit. Lovely. In the sweet and sour mix, I don't know, it's doing something, but it's not very sour. That's weird. I don't pick out the sweet sour mix as a sour mix. It kind of, it turns it into some something else. A little bit of citrus, but not actually that much. What it may be doing is tearing down that, the the wall of sweet, the Gorbachev. Uh, it's bringing it like this, this should be super sweet, but it's really tailored to be creamy and flavorful, dynamic. That's, a, that's interesting. I think for that recipe, uh, I would personally enjoy it most, I think, in a Collins glass, tall, with three times as much liquid. Could be dangerous. Nah, 16%. Something that can't be that bad, right? 20%, you're fine. Collins glass that up. You're good to go. Uh, thank you, Brandon, for that recipe. Rouge Passion. That must be the color of rouge. Yeah? Why are you asking me? I don't know. You're a girl. You should know colors. You're I know. An artist. Oh, there it is. I don't use rouge. I use red it's and blue. It's just red, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a brownish it's red. Like another language for red. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is French. Uh, this is French after all. French vodka in here. Anyway, there you go. EverydayDrinkers.com. Question of the day. All right, what? Here's a good one, because Alize, my original Alize recipe, I pronounced it wrong, and I'm still getting comments. You're saying it wrong. Like people don't read that already. People have already told me that. What cock? What brand of liqueur or liquor or spirit do you have the hardest time pronouncing? That I want to know. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink.